Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. We are at Heartland Forest in uh, Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. We're just wrapping up our seventh workshop that has been part of our Purple Heart Project. This is um, a venture that Luther and Jake and I have started a couple of years ago where we bring combat wounded veterans in for a week-long class training them on traditional hand tool woodwork. It's very therapeutic, we find out, for guys suffering from traumatic brain injuries or PTSD. And each time we do this, we need six to eight civilians who will come as a paid student. That helps us cover our expenses so that we can bring the vets in as our guests. And this is Bob. Bob's been one of our veterans, I'm sorry, one of our civilians, who I, I, I just don't think we give them enough credit because we couldn't do this if they didn't come. Bob, where are you from? I'm from New York. From New York? Originally. I live in Delaware now, but yeah. only recently. How did you find out about this? I'm always curious. Well, I found out, I, I joined your website, and I found out about it from, from that, and uh, I ordered some saws and whatnot, and uh, one day you called me up and said, how'd you like to help out? And I said, yeah. I was thinking about doing it anyway, you know. I was kind of procrastinating about calling you, because I didn't know whether you'd answer the phone or what. <clears throat> but uh, the phone rings, I pick up, and it's you saying, how'd you like to come to help out? So I said, absolutely. I remember that. Yep. <laughs> so you came, you put in a, a long, a little longer than you anticipated, a little more. Yeah, I mean, I, th I thought it was going to be a lot to go from eight to eight, but then to go from eight to ten thirty or so, that adds another, another it's seven and a half hours. So, mm -hmm. so that's. <laughs> yeah, we said always surprise them on the upside, give them more than they thought they were paying for. Exactly. So, five <clears throat> days, very, very day, long days later, here you are on Friday afternoon. What you get out of it? Well, it's uh, the uh, woodworking boot camp, I guess you'd say. Um, I, I, I never thought I would be doing this, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna put the last on here. See, th how many dovetails have you cut? Well, now I've cut two, but that that was the first okay, one. So this is number one. So yes. I gotta move over to the camera because this is worth seeing. Can you focus on that? All right. Now I look at that. And I like to grade these. And I think I already told you before, I would be hard pressed. I might take a point or two off or a little bit here. So if we started at 100, you'd be uh, 95, 96 on that. That is remarkable, absolutely remarkable. And we just to, I like to tell people, we take it right from the saw. There's no test fitting. Right. We don't pair. We cut the tails, we mark the pins, we cut the pins. So you did an awesome job. Thank you. So if you got that out of it, that I hope was worth it. But what about the camaraderie with the other students in the class, particularly the vets? Watch well, the, yeah, the, the I have a whole new perspective on um, the people that serve, and uh, they're they're the ones that are remarkable. Um, you know, I I grew up when when I was of age to have served. I, it was during the Vietnam era, and I was in college, and the, in the lottery, my number was very high. So. I wouldn't have uh, been drafted, but uh, and I basically I was one of the ones who was protected, not one of the ones who protected. So, um, so we owe they, them. Yeah, we we owe them whatever we can give. And uh, I was I'm I'm proud to have been in their in their company, especially the to me the the army medics, which there were three I think here. Those are the guys who run toward the trouble because they're people of ours who are in trouble. And that to me is, is it's like the firemen that run into a burning building. Yeah. So it's, it's been, um, it's been a, a very interesting and inspiring experience being in their company. Okay, spend a minute just talking to the audience and, uh, and uh, what I need you to do is convince others to come and participate as a paying student to benefit from what we teach them, but also to keep our program alive and allow it to thrive. So if you wouldn't, if you would please, a minute or two to them. Well, you're definitely going to get something out of it for yourself, but just to be able to help uh, the men and women who gave so much, to help them out is it's just an added benefit. It, it's, uh, it makes you feel great to, to help out somebody who needs so much help. And, um, and, and at the same time, get an amazing education in, in, in woodworking and uh, 
this is something I've wanted to do since I was, well, the last time I was able to take shop in school was when I was in the eighth grade. And uh, uh, I've always wanted to do this. Uh, I really didn't have the opportunity to. I, I, I had a short foray back into it when Roy Underhill started his, uh, on PBS. And uh, it didn't work out because I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't have somebody like yourself to mentor you through the, through the process. And uh, it's, it, you get a lot out of it if you're looking to be a, a hand, hand tool woodworker or if you're, if you're using power tools, you want to you use the power tools to get close and then finish things off with the, the, um, the hand tools because uh, you get a finish like you, you don't get from, hand, from power tools. Yeah. So um, I encourage anybody who's interested in power tools to, or in, in sorry, in hand tools, to uh, to come and do it. It's the, it's the bomb. <laughs> Final question: What are you going to do with that? Well, I already took pictures of it and sent it to all my friends, um, and um, I may may make a drawer and f fit the other two corners. We'll see. It'll be on my mantle. Good. Show it off. <laughs> Bob, thank you for coming. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Well, I'll, I'll hopefully be back. Okay, look forward to it. Great. Great. Thanks.